Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warm 40k in Crystal Prophecy in another round where we are going to try to conclude this White Crusade. If I'm not mistaken, we have the option to end the White Crusade if we um, do finish off this little sports assault against turrets. So let's jump into it. Um, this is a supreme mission. If you succeed or fail this mission, the White Crusade will end. Do you still want to proceed? Of course. The enemies of the Imperium are infinite, and such a vast threat can only be fought with ingenuity. Kill the masters, and you will render a sea of vermin helpless. Well, as usual, at least we will try that out. Um, I know, I know, the last episode, which was a little fail of mine, and in the end, that was one thing which already has happened before to me, but not with turnips, but with a psychic explosion. I don't even know of what kind of, by the way, it was a saucer or whatever. At least it was a psychic which exploded, and in the last episode, going into. Well, um, what was it? Into the gas explosion or the gas manifestation of a turned leader figure. Very, very bad of mine and the really weird thing I was even in that moment thinking, oh my god, if you go into there, you are going to die. And then indeed I bloody died. Anyhow, I learned from it, I hope. Um, I would say that at least. So um, that is probably going to happen again, but hopefully not in this little episode so does he actually have a couple of um so to say bodyguards it obviously seems so okay i need to get out of here we actually do want to conclude the um little mission we are playing and overall if we conclude this mission we have concluded the white crusade which would leave me here with a very very cool feeling indeed so we overall of course need to do some damage against the um, sporocyst and not being um, being caught by all these guardians here so we are a little bit in, in trouble because we are not able to actually resummon the correct units here oh my godness oh my godness yes no oh my goodness that is what I wanted to say I need a little bit of help out here so if these guys I don't even know whether these are summoners up there but that is very very nasty indeed we need the big guy he's back good 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 but I need to kill off these small guys as well. Come on, come on, already a little dicey situation. And I was in the beginning when we killed off the first couple of episodes. I uh, episodes, first couple of enemies. I was actually thinking, oh, that's going to be a little bit more of a easy mission. But as you see, it is um, well not as easy as you might have thought it is. So these guys need to be killed off. I of course need to switch the weapon then. Maybe against these guys the better weapons indeed. So of course the nasty part is that this guy is summoning new enemies as well. So he's down, that is of course not good. Oh, there are summoning enemies, that is very, very nasty indeed. Um, I hope dearly, guys, that we are of course going to make it, but not like this. I don't know whether this is um, a specialty of the tarot cards I use, but in the end, to have so many spawned enemies here is of course a time thing. It's going to be ages, I think, to. Um, Lunch through all the enemies. You see, we already have killed, well, a multitude no, no of enemies. But well, I thought we, ah, I thought we killed something. But in the end, we, I think, d did nothing here. So 
So if nobody focuses on these boroughs, nothing is going to happen. So at least it is down half of its HP, that is of course helping out us a lot here. Maybe that's the thing I should have done from the beginning, just focusing on the big guy. And don't let anything do anything else. So down to 3000 HP. So we are, I would say, making at least a little bit of progress. So that of course is not good. And the very, very bad part, what I'm just realizing, we only are allowed to die a couple of times. One more time, or we cannot actually we can't die overall at all. That is the very, very not so good part here. So at least every shot is doing a little bit of damage to him and helping out. So down to a thousand HP, very, very good. Come on, kill it off, it is nearly down. So that is a very, very nice feeling. So the first target is down, which means only a couple of guys remain, and it sees a lot of guys actually uh, are remaining to take down. That is the nasty part. And you might know that this guy is actually retreating overall, so he's constantly, constantly falling back, which means he possibly, probably is going to fall back into enemies and you see we already have a couple of problems here dealing with all the um, and you can say random turnips here I know they are the redo structures of the um, turnips or at least um, 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 you know having the psychic ability and bringing of bringing forth the hive mind to the smaller creatures which of course is a very very important thing because He's, so to say, um, increasing on the battlefield at least the range of the hive mind. So at least one thing we can say we are going to get a lot of HP here. Not HP, but XP, which is a important thing I would say as well and of course helps out a lot. Technological marvel device. I'm I'm technically now a little bit surprised how many enemies here are. We are going to switch the weapon for now so we deal a little bit more damage to him. And I think we are already noticing it how fast his HP is dwindling down. At least he's probably or will of course give us HP. That is always the very very good part. And I I, I just um, remembered something. Um, normally in the end of episodes I go through the items we have received in this episode. I did not do that because we lost very very bad on my part. I can only say. You might argue, guys. You might argue that is a little bit of little waste of time taking down all the little enemies right here but in the end we have to do that of all to uh, well we technically we don't have to do it but in the end i think it will make the fights which will come up a little bit more easy overall it's down okay it's just a can effect so at least he is, well, what do I say, not just the Carnifex, but at least the Carnifex is not resummoning new units. And this is a guy where we can sit more safely, fall back and, um, you know, deal with him a little later. And maybe lure him away from the other end, from the summoning enemies, which I currently need to actually deal with. Oh my goodness. And case in point, that is now the perfect situation why it is very, very important that we have cleared out all the surroundings. Just by incident, 
just, just by incident actually, but um, that means we can safely now retreat here overall. And I hope that in retreating a little bit away from the summoner unit, we are out of range of his summoned units. That is what I'm believing, that is what I'm hoping. So, of course, as it is a Carnifex, it has a lot of HP and still 30,000 HP remain here. And overall, it had, it had over 60. You have to think about that. Over 60,000 HP. But it is nearly down. Our oh, little guys are, of course, helping out a lot, doing a lot of damage to him. And sometimes, of course, as you see, you practically, technically have to switch off or switch the weapon in order to... Um, do a little bit more damage against the big guys here. Why ever he's actually summoning um, new units, um, I think it would be weird um, behavior for a Carnifex, isn't it? Of course, I don't know every um, every um, uh, mutagen of a unit. Is it called mutagen in English? I don't even know. Every adaptation of um, of turnit um, creatures, of bigger turnit creatures, indeed. So I'm going to focus. Oh, I need to resummon. I was a little bit focused on um, shooting at the right unit and was completely not watching how many constructs we are actually having right here. Of course, very, very important as a tech priest here is to. In the end, take a look what weapon you are having. Okay, he down. Nice. That means we can take a look at the next couple of tugs. And I go straight forward to the next one, which is right in front of us. It, I Well, not right in front of us, but I think we are taking the right route right now. Small enemies all... So to say, broken down. And let's see what unit it is. Oh, okay. A solo Sporosis. Nice. That is what I like. So hopefully, maybe not that much of a trouble battle. Yes, it will be a troublesome battle indeed. Because it is a it has a carn effect with it. Very, very nasty indeed. So I should try to take down uh, these surroundings and then focus on these bosses actually so we can do only one thing and slowly try to focus on these enemies as I can only say it is good that we already have killed off so many units so we can safely kite them away and you know, just focus on them. So, it, as you, um, if you might remember how the, if we go back half a year, for example, in this game, we at the end of every episode, XP was um, calculated at the end of an, at, at the not an, at the end of an episode, but at the end of a mission, which means. Um, you actually had a well it was made clear to you um, you I don't want to go into argumentation whether it's good or bad that that is not anymore the case but at least what I think was quite cool you knew how many enemies you have um, slaughtered this episode I remember that on that case a little tinsy bit to be honest So we're going to resummon the big dude. There he is, dealing the damage. And now the Carnifex is going to be um, slowly and swiftly being killed off by us. Very, very deep. Very deep. No, very, very cool indeed, I think. Although these spawn mines could mean trouble. Yes, at least one. Okay, it killed off two. Okay, that's weird. And now we can 
focus on the big dude. It is nearly down as well. So, very, very good. And I'm just going to focus on the big guy. And of course, I don't know why these are always resummoning its or regenerating its HP. And then, um, actually, the mission's already, or oh, not the mission, but the Sporus is already taken down. But we still have to um, kill it one more time or one more iteration. That's weird, I think. Okay, so let's see what we do have here. At least we have a Carnifex, so 65,000 HP, you, 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 you really, that's a heavy number there. And I think it's with this guy, yes, as you see, it, it is not only, not only that he is, um, has so many HP, it is that he is um, heavy, he's heavily armored as well. That's the nasty part with this dude. But we, well, slowly are nibbing his HP wreck, which is of course very, very good, down to 46,000 indeed. Come on, focus, focus. Oh, I can resummon the big dude. So he is having a long ranged weapon, but sadly, or not sadly enough, but good for us, he's not using it very, very often. And indeed, indeed, what we could use, or what we could need, are actually some new inoculators. An In inoculator refill would be very, very nice indeed, I can only say. The mindless brutality will be punished. But he's nearly gone. That's good. Although we are near. Oh my goodness. Um. There, I did not. The burden of failure is the most terrible punishment. I know. There, I did not watch out. Um. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. And again, like the last episode, very, very unnecessary. In deep, but anyhow, sometimes that in this game it's just that okay. What crusade failed still in the end, guys? We can take a quick look at the items we have received in this and actually in the last mission as well. So I quickly go over it, um, but it seems like um, overall not too, too much of an upgrade. We have received here but guys that in the end brings us to the end of this episode guys and you know what i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye